Hi y'all. So today is July 6th and I'm back here at Don and Andy's. It was uh, really freaking awesome to hang out with my friends Chad and Carol yesterday. Now I'm getting ready to catch a ride with Don and Andy. They're going to drop me right back off where they had picked me up a couple days ago so I can go finish up these uh, five or six miles I got left. I think I'm at mile 794 on this walk from Mexico to Canada and at a total mileage of 7,486. So I might hit mile 800 by this evening. <laughs> the, the cool thing is, is I'm not even wearing my pack today. Um, it's only a couple hours of walking and they're gonna come snag me up. So, uh, so I'll be back here this evening. And then tomorrow, I'll go catch a bus to Eureka. Well, I just got dropped off right here in Redcrest. And uh, going to continue on. I got about five or six miles to reach the north entrance of the Avenue of the Giants and finally complete this part of the walk. All right, let's go see what magic I can find today. immortal tree. Ancient redwood. It's 950 to 1,000 years old. The original height was 298 feet. Current height is 248. Enough to build several homes. Please do not climb on the tree. Thank you.
Pepperwood and its loved ones, gone but not forgotten, presented by the Fortuna Chamber of Commerce. Here I am, right at the north entrance, and I've walked all the way through the Avenue of the Giants. Dyerville Overlook, except for over here, I took this side road and took the trails from Burlington Campground. Myers Flat, Miranda, Phillipsville. Right there is where I spent night number one at. Well, I made it as far as I can on the avenue. Now I'm going to go back to the north entrance sign and wait for my friends to arrive. And now I wait for Don and Andy to come back and snag me up. So, fuck yeah. Hi, y'all. Well, today is July 7th. And finally leaving the avenue. Um, <laughs> thank you so much for all your help. Oh, um, you're welcome. Being able to stay here for like the two weeks, pretty much. Yeah. Um, healing up from when them idiots in Redway threw that fucking fountain soda at me. And then being able to come here so I didn't have to stealth camp every single night on the avenue. Right. And having the opportunity to explore a lot of different places. Yeah. And then even having my friends show up. So, um, and being able to show them some of my um, favorite places too. I couldn't have done any of that without you guys. Right. So thank you, thank You're you welcome. so much. Now I'm getting ready to uh, jump a bus. I'm going all the way up to Willow Creek. I have a friend out there that I know from Facebook that I have yet to meet. And once I found out that a bus will get me out there, I'm like, okay, I want to make sure I go visit. And I was going to go to Eureka and then like walk and maybe find a place to stealth camp or whatnot. But uh, one, the weather's crap today. It is. Two, uh, my normal spot, the Sequoia Zoo Park, there's used to tell me that they've uh, rearranged some things. So I might not necessarily have a safe place to stealth camp there. No. Um, and then from everything I'm gathering, locals are who I have to worry about um, when I'm stealth camping, not the other homeless. Right. So, uh, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and skip right on through Eureka, go on up, see my friend in Willow Creek, um, because this weekend they're having Bigfoot days. Yep, Bigfoot days. And uh, I, I want to go check this it's out. It's supposed to be fun. It's, from what I understand, it's like their yearly, their one time a year yeah. time to shine. It's supposed to be fun. So, uh, yeah, I'm really looking forward to that. And really, it's all the way, it's all about how the adventures just line things up and time things out for me. Uh, as a matter of fact, even where I was, where I'm going to go stay at, I originally was given the backyard to crash in. And, uh one of the people that stay in the house they're actually going to be out of town and they fix the room up for me oh wow uh so literally it's all about the timing has just yeah. completely lined up uh cool. i just go with the flow that's the magic of the adventure and you even stayed here longer than you were yeah that you were planning oh yeah absolutely um but i really really wanted the time to explore the avenue and with andy giving me some pointers on where to go check out yeah i walked through uh chad creek yesterday chad creek school that was freaking awesome and then uh jordan creek i would never have went down there had you guys not suggested yeah 
So, and I went all the way and it's yeah, I went all the way to the bridge, went underneath it, climbed back to the other That's side. Cool. So what was supposed to be a six mile walk ended up being eight. And then, uh, yeah, the way timing did, I ended up walking all the way back anyhow. <laughs> yeah. But that's all cool. I'm not counting up those miles. Those miles are ones in case I miscalculated somewhere along the way. But, uh, all right, I'm gonna finish smoking up and then I gotta go get my pack and make my way to this bus stop. Oh yeah, and after I leave, after I leave Willow Creek, I'm just gonna get dropped off in Arcata, the town right next to Eureka and continue north. Like I said, I'll just skip all the way Arcata's through. Arcata's pretty cool too. Yeah, yeah. I'm just gonna go ahead and skip all the way through Eureka. And all these little uh, freeways I got coming ahead. Cops just love fucking with me on the freeways. Right. <laughs> all right, well, I'm gonna finish this bowl up and then uh, go get myself ready. Keep watching and I'll keep showing you the magic. And as always, where are you? It's your hit. Don't make me smoke all this weed by myself. Find me, follow me, see where I am. Come out and walk one mile with me and I will show you magic. Much love and much peace, you all. Well, my friends just dropped me off and now I wait for the bus. I was hoping, I was hoping you guys might be running out here. Yeah. I was like, right on. like, let's go find our brother. Right on, right on. Thank you. Thank you, you so you. much. Off the trunk. <laughs> oh, hey guys. Hi. You know, Bluff Creek is just out this way a few miles. And that's where the first sighting for Bigfoot was. And so there's a museum here in town. And you can see all the cool Bigfoot stuff and the prints and everything. <laughs> So I'm about to find out how you call a Bigfoot. 